Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry, and I want to tell you a story. When I was a kid in, in the fifth grade, our teacher put forth an assignment, and he said, don't answer right away. I want you to think about this for a while, and then I want you to come up with your answer. And the question was, if you had a magic wand and you could change anything, what would you change? And he gave us a good time to think about it. And when he got to me, I had my answer. He said, all right, Bertice, what would you change? And I said, I would get rid of better and worse. And he said, okay, tell me about that. And I said, well, I'd get rid of the idea that somebody is better than somebody else and somebody else is worse than somebody else because all the wars and all the fighting and all the stuff is built on that. He stared at me for the longest. After class, he came over and he said, your answer is really deep. America was built on the desire of second and third and fourth sons outdoing their firstborn brothers who inherited everything. I recently went to a place that was steeped in the history of outdoing. It was built up by a slave-owning man who had been a sharecropper who had bought the spoils of those wealthy ones who couldn't keep it up, couldn't keep all of their stuff in their family. So he bought it up. But then others started to come in after his death. And they would buy something and they would build it, trying to outdo someone else. And the next one would come in and tear that down, build up something, trying to outdo somebody else. But they all kept building in the same spot. We're all fighting over the same spot, trying to build on the same spot, trying to outdo one another in the same spot. Somebody sold us this bill of goods that we need to be the envy of our neighbor. So when one person goes out to cut the lawn, you run out to cut your lawn. If your neighbor gets a new car, you need to get the next new car. To be the envy of your neighbor keeps Wall Street running and humming, tearing down the thing that somebody else built and trying to build something grander and bigger and more in the same spot. What if, without the idea of better or worse, we lived out the purpose and the desires of our own heart? What if what I want is not what you want? What if what I need is certainly not what you need? What if I did my thing over here and you did yours over there and we came together and celebrated those differences? What if together we could build something bigger and better and newer that all of our children could share in? When you're trying to outdo your older brother who inherited everything on the backs of those who inherited nothing. You get what my mother called the big American secret. That we're the best in the world because we had free labor on stolen land. What if we all got to share in this experiment, in this dream, how much more could we be? You see, I walked through those ruins and I looked at them and someone looked to me and said, does this hurt your heart to see what your ancestors had to do? I looked deep into her eyes and I said, baby, if they did all of this, while someone was whipping them and they were hungry and they feared being sold away from the ones they loved and they did all of this. What can I do now? I'm not 
trying to be better. And I'm certainly not worse. I see a world where we all get to have what we want and what we need. Because what I want and what I need has nothing to do with anybody else. I love you.